What do we got? What do we got? Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and recently I taught you 10 awesome tricks and pranks you can pull at the pool table. Well, today I'm teaching you 10 more bets, pranks, and tricks you can do at the pool table. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you can be eligible for the giveaway. Let's do this. All right, guys, for this bet, you're gonna bet one of your friends that they gotta knock in the seven, the eight, and the nine ball in the corner pocket, but they cannot touch this one ball and they have to use one shot. How can you do it? So no matter where they put the cue ball on the table, they're not gonna be able to knock those three balls in all into that side pocket. So here is the setup, guys. You're gonna line them all up in a row like this, and remember the rules were, you were not allowed to touch that ball. Here's the magic shot. You're gonna take the triangle and lay it around this ball, just kissing the nine ball. So you have the nine, the eight, and the seven right here. And then what you're gonna do is make sure that there's enough space on each side of this ball in the middle so that when you hit the cue ball into this triangle, it will not touch that one ball. All right, guys, so all you have to do is hit the triangle with a nice medium stroke and the rest is history. And here is your test to make sure that they're close enough. As long as they're inside this triangle, you're good to go. You don't necessarily want these way out here. All right, guys, this next bet is a play on words, which a lot of bar bets are. This is opportunity-based, so while you're playing pool, you're gonna look for an opportunity for something to happen. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what yet, but here's the setup. You bet your friend, hey, I'll bet you 40 bucks that you will not get another shot. So they look at the table and they're thinking, there's no way you're gonna clean up this mess. There's no way, so they take the bet. So your next shot is simply this. You lose. You knock in the eight ball, you've lost the game, but you've won the bet. So all you have to do, guys, is once you're playing, if you ever see an opportunity where the eight ball is able to be knocked in, make the bet. All right, guys, I love this next one. It's a magic trick. If you happen to be a subscriber and love magic and pranks and tricks, this one is for you. What you're gonna do is get a couple deck of cards and you're gonna approach your friend and have them pick one of the packs. You're gonna spread those cards on the table and pull off a miracle. Let's do it. All right, Noah, grab a deck of cards. We're gonna use one for this trick. You got that one right there. I'm gonna put these aside for now. Take those out, spread them on the table, face up all over the place. Nicely done. Mix those around, mix them around. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get them all spread out so they're not all touching each other. Come on, come on now. All right, bro, from behind the line, shoot the cue ball anywhere you want on the table, wherever it lands, we're gonna see if we can pull off a miracle. Go for it. Oh, 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 what do we got, what do we got? You wanna go with that card right there or you wanna change your mind? You sure? You can hit it again if you want. You good to go? You wanna go with the nine of diamonds. All right, bro, check this out. There's another pack right here. We're gonna try something. So we had this pack laying here the whole time and it was the nine of diamonds. Check this out. I knew it was gonna be the nine of diamonds because right here I had one card reversed in this pack and I knew all along that you're gonna land on the nine of diamonds. What? All right, guys, I love when you can mix a trick with a sport. This is a magic trick at its best, but it's so simple. There's three methods to doing this. What I did is I had the spectator spread the cards on the table all face up. Wherever the ball landed, that's the card. Well, what I did is I used a trick deck. Now this is called the invisible deck. You can get this online, it's just a few bucks. And what it is, is one card will be reversed in this pack no matter where they land because all of the cards are reversed in this pack and you just have to learn how to use this trick deck. Now that's just one method. If you don't wanna go buy a trick deck, here's a way you can do this at home in just seconds. Let me show it to you. So here's one subtle and very powerful thing you start the trick off with. You have your trick deck right here and I've marked it right on it. It says invisible deck. And then right here is the regular pack that they spread onto the table. So I put the two packs together and I put the one on top slightly toward them because 90% of the time they're gonna take that one and say, hey, can you just pick one of these packs? We're gonna use it in a trick. It doesn't matter which one they pick because you're gonna use both in the trick. So if they take the top one, of course, let them spread those on the table and you put this aside for the reveal later. Now, if they happen to grab this pack, it's still the same thing. They take it and say, great, we're gonna try something really cool with that pack. There is one card in there reversed. We're gonna see if we can do a miracle. Put that pack in your pocket so I can't touch it. So now they've got this pack in their pocket. It's almost even more powerful that way. Then they take what 
was the pack they didn't select and you use it anyways. Spread them on the table and you proceed accordingly and it always works out, you guys. All right, guys, so here's the other method. The same thing, you're gonna start off with two packs together like this, have them pick a pack, let's say they pick this one, you're gonna have them spread these on the table, but here's the cool part, you pull these out and subtly flash one of the cards and you have them spread these on the table face down. So we're gonna take these cards and I would recommend you spread these on the table, spread them face down and really mix these things around. All right, Noah, go for it. Hit the ball wherever it lands, that's gonna be your selection. Oh, is that your selection right there? You want that one? Turn that card over. Let's see what it is. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts, baby. So guys, here's the other method. They're face down. He selected this card, free choice. You grab the other pack, which is closed, and you just make a magic gesture, and then there is the other card. Or you can make this appear any way you want because this was just the top card. It's just laying there on the deck right to begin with. These are all regular cards but I had this eight of hearts on top all along. You can make this appear any way you want. Use your imagination because you guys, look at this. It doesn't really matter where he would have landed because they're all freaking eight of hearts, you guys. Isn't that hilarious? Now there is one card that's not the eight of hearts. It's right here. It was that original bottom card. And the reason I didn't care that he landed anywhere is because this was underneath a couple of cards right here. I did that on purpose when I spread the cards around. You can also just not do this method and not have this, but I love that at the beginning, you can show the cards look different. It's a subtle, subtle thing, but I think that really sells it. So this is my version, and this is a no brain, no skill way of pulling off an absolute miracle because no one would ever expect that, especially when they got to pick either one of the two packs to begin with. All right, guys, now here is a bonus extra method for you guys. So you have a deck of cards spread on the table and you have a regular pack sitting right here for the reveal. So this one is different. What you're gonna have is on the back of the cards, these are marked. Now these are trick cards that actually have a little dial on the back so I know what each particular card is, but you can make these on your own by literally coming up with a system of one to 13 dots that signifies ace, through king, one, two, three, four, five, and then some other little symbol that's heart, queens, clubs, and spades. So you can come up with your own fun pattern with a little red or blue marker on the back of red or blue cards. Very simple to do. And then what you do is you spread the cards out, they run the ball, it lands somewhere, and you stare at that and you say, you stopped on this card right here. Let's not even look at the cards, let me try something first. And while you're saying that, you're noticing, oh, that's six of diamonds. You go to the regular pack, and then you pull out that particular card in whatever method you want, and say you could have picked so many different cards, there's so many to choose from, and look for their particular card, maybe make a break there. So let's try something. We're gonna try something really cool, and then make this card appear in a cool way, and then at the end, they match. Do whatever you want. You have all the freedom in the world to make this your own, but I just wanted to share yet another very simple version that you can make at home. All right, guys, this is the impossible ball barrier trick shot. What you're gonna do is challenge somebody to take the cue ball, hit the one ball into the side pocket, and also follow up with the nine ball in this corner pocket. It's one shot, no jump shots, and you cannot touch any of these balls. So as you can see, there's not enough space between these for this cue ball to travel. So how do you do it? All right, guys, as I do the shot, the main part that's the trick is gonna reveal itself, so I don't even need to explain it. But I will say that when I hit this cue ball, I'm hitting it high right to get a little English on it, and I'll show you up close in a minute what I'm doing. But one other important setup is that right here, there's a good two balls distance between the pocket and this first ball, and you'll see why it'll work itself out. And then right here, there is enough distance for a ball to go through on either side because you want people to think that maybe that's how this ball gets over there, but that's not what happens. Check it out. And that is how it's done. All right, guys, so as you saw, you knock in that one ball by just grazing the side like you normally would, but there's right top English on the cue ball. I'm gonna show you that up close. The ball ricochets around, and then it's gonna hit this rail and bounce off if you didn't put the stick here. So what you're gonna do is make your shot, and then you throw your stick down here immediately because that ball's coming, 
and it doesn't matter if it's tight or touching, it almost is better if it's not. Just make sure that this nose over here is not away. Make sure the nose is touching for sure and the rest works out on its own. All right guys, so you saw how it worked out. The setup is exactly what you see, except when you hit this cue ball, you're gonna hit high and right, right here, which is gonna cause this to have a little bit of English. When you make this ball like you normally would, that will help this ball travel around the table accordingly, hit your stick, and then knock in the nine ball. You're gonna put a good amount of speed, and when you shoot with your cue ball, make sure it's not way out here, make sure it's almost straight on, and you're just gonna kiss the side of the ball, and the rest works out. It is awesome physics at its best. All right, guys, I love bar bets because they're a play on words a lot of times. This is the epitome of that. You're gonna get your victim or your friend, you're gonna bet them 20 bucks that they cannot knock that cue ball into this corner pocket one shot using any ball. That's it. So it's really clear that you say you can use any ball and you knock in that cue ball into this corner pocket. That's it. And they try and they try and they try and they fail because this cue ball is kissed against the rail right here, halfway between this pocket and this diamond. So it's right here. That's it. No matter what they do, they will not be able to get it into this pocket. All right, guys, how do you think you can do this? And remember, you can use any ball. Anything come to mind yet? Well, here's the secret. I said you can use any ball. Now, this is not regulation or legal in regular pool, but when it comes to bar bets and pranks, it is. So what you're gonna do is place it on the table about here. You're looking at about this diamond across the end of the table right here, and then just back of the middle of the table. That's it, and you're gonna shoot this directly into this cue ball, and through physics and inertia, it's gonna cause this absorption to cause that to come off the rail and into this pocket. It would not happen with a cue ball, but with a golf ball, it will. And there is the shot. All right, guys, this is a great bar bet. What you're gonna do is set up the balls like this. You're gonna remove one of the balls and just go ahead and get rid of it in a pocket. And the setup is this. Put the cue ball on the table and bet your buddy that they cannot get this eight ball right here into this corner pocket. One shot by breaking the balls any way they want. They have one shot. How can you do it, guys? How can you do this? Now, when you gave your friends the rule, you clearly said you could hit any way you want. You have the ball out here, which gives the illusion or the impression you have to hit it from out here, but you don't. You're actually gonna replace that front ball that's missing, and you're gonna hit the balls, but in a different kind of hit. You're not gonna actually hit them. You're gonna do a push-through kind of hit, so watch this. So make sure all the balls are touching. What I'm gonna do is come to this side of the table because I'm gonna push through the balls on this angle right here. I'm aiming for the second back ball right here with this cue ball, and all I'm gonna do is push through. I'm not gonna hit. All right, guys, now the secret to this is make sure that when you rack these balls that they're very tight, and when you pull this off, don't let them move. If you hit with the rack and these move, the trick will not work. So make sure that you have these really tight, and then you're good to go, and the trick is self-working. Again, all you're gonna do is put the cue ball right against the front, and you're gonna aim to this ball, dead center, push straight through. And from this angle, you will see that it's not hitting it's pushing. So make light contact and then just push through. I love this bar bet so much, you guys. So here's the setup. You're gonna have the one ball, the two ball, lined up here to this corner pocket. The rules are this, they get one shot. They gotta use the cue ball and anything on the table is good to go. They gotta get the one ball in this pocket first, then the second ball, all in one shot. How do you do it? All right, guys, I said you can use anything on the table, so that would include the triangle. So what you're gonna do is put the triangle just like this on the table, line it up facing the two ball, make sure it kisses perfectly, and then right on the back right here, what you're gonna do is use this chalk, which was also on the table, put it right here against here, put this one ball on top, just so it touches just like that, maybe just a speck away, and then you're gonna follow through with your shot as you normally would toward that pocket. So my goal right now is this. I'm gonna get this one ball to jump over the triangle into the pocket, the cue ball will follow through, hit the triangle, and then knock the two ball in. So just make sure this is lined up so that, that triangle is gonna push into that two perfectly. Now roughly I have 
this one ball lined up at the second diamonds, the two on the first diamond, roughly, and the rest is just lining it up. And you guys, we are ready for a jump shot. All right, guys, for this bet, what you're gonna do is place a ball right on the spot where you rack the balls, and then you're gonna take the chalk and draw a faint line about one foot or two foot on the outside of that. That's the perimeter for this bet. The challenge is this. You're gonna place a quarter on top of this ball, and then from back behind the line, you're gonna ask one of your friends to try to knock this ball away, but leave this quarter right there on this spot. Now, on this particular table, there isn't a white spot. Most tables come with that little white spot where you know exactly where the, the, the head ball for your rack's gonna be. This table doesn't, so just use your imagination. So here's the gag. You place the quarter on top of the ball and you let them shoot from back behind the line right here. They can shoot anywhere they want, and the object, like I said, is to make that quarter stay exactly on that spot. Well, what you've done is secretly stuck the quarter on, but toward the back a little bit. So when I shoot, it's gonna make that ball push the quarter, and the quarter will not stay on this spot. Well, let me show you up close exactly the setup. So when you challenge your friend, and you say, try to shoot this ball and make the quarter stay on the spot, which in this case, let's just mark it right here. So for demonstration purposes, I put a small X because this table doesn't have a spot. You're gonna place a ball here and a quarter on top, but you're gonna put the quarter slightly toward the back just before it falls off and leave it right there. So now, when someone tries to hit, that quarter is gonna fly along with the ball. So that's the setup. So then when you take the bet and they lose, of course you come back and you put the quarter back on top, but you put it perfectly straight. And now when you hit the ball, it will stay. All right, guys, I love this bet. It's so simple. You're gonna take a ball and you're gonna place it right here where you would normally rack the balls with the triangle. You're gonna put a quarter on top. That's the setup. And then you're gonna take your chalk and draw a faint line at least one foot or even two feet around this ball. The rules are this. Outside of this circle, your friend is gonna take the cue ball and they need to knock this quarter and ball outside of the circle with one shot. It seems so simple, but watch what happens. No matter what you do, when you hit, that quarter is gonna stay. So how do you get the quarter and the ball to leave that circle? How do you do it? All right, some of you are probably thinking it's just a jump shot, right? But watch this, if I do a jump shot, it's still gonna land right there. As you might have guessed, it is a jump shot after all, but not just your typical jump shot. You're not trying to hit the ball, you're trying to hit the quarter, and you gotta hit the quarter on the edge. So this ball is gonna come up, and it's gonna tag the quarter right there. It's gonna make it fly off and the ball's gonna go with it. Let me show you what it looks like. Make sure it's not a closed bridge. Make sure it's open like this so you can get nice and high. You're gonna shoot underneath the cue ball and make it jump. And guess what? You get the quarter and the ball to leave the circle. All right, guys, this is a great prank and bet you can do on your friends. What you do is when you're going out and you're playing pool at one of the bars, what you do is you say, hey, can you take two of the balls and stack them up on top of each other and let them go without falling down? Can you do it? And they try and they try and they fail and they fail and then you do it successfully. You guys wanna learn the secret? Hey guys, here's the secret. So you're playing with the balls and you notice that one of them might have a chip in it, which happens from time to time. And it happens in this case to be the cue ball. There's a nice little chip out of it right here. So I keep that to myself or hide it in a pocket way over here and then just casually tell your friend, hey, grab any two balls and then try to stack them up. They try, they fail, they try, they fail. And then you just casually walk over and go, all right, let's give it a shot. Let me here grab a couple balls. Let's see what I got here. And you lay it on the table with that imperfection face up. So watch this. So face up, take another ball and put it right on that imperfection. Just get it on there, be patient. Success. Look at that, I stacked some balls. That's pretty solid. There we go. Anyways, you can see right there, guys, there's a little bit of a scratch. Some of these balls are chipped up. If you find a little chip like that, you can pull this bet off. All right, guys, it's time for a giveaway, but I did want to mention we have another top 10 
pull pranks on my channel. Go check it out. We haven't done the giveaway yet, but what we're doing is giving away two balls. These are regular balls, but we're giving away a wobble ball that looks just like a regular ball, but when you hit it, it wobbles around the table. It's hilarious. We just did it last week, so go check out that other video. Make sure you hit this like button like mad. Comment down below and let me know you've liked and shared this video. What I'm gonna do is give away one of my custom deck of playing cards along with a booklet of 32 tricks you can do to mess with your friends. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much. And again, please smash that like button like crazy. We got 30 more pool pranks coming this month or so. So that's it, guys. I'll catch you next week. Peace.